Great. Thank you. That was a great session. I think today has been wonderful. Um, so again, thank you, Tony. Thank you, everyone on the panel. That was amazing. Um, so we are going to close soon. But uh, before we do, we have a second poll for you. So folks that have been with us from the beginning, you want to pull your cell phone out. And if you had not participated in a poll, if you could go ahead and text KPIHP to 37607. The poll begins now. So um, the question is, what is one step or action you plan to take as a result of what you've learned at today's forum? So we'll give you a second to get up and running. Oh, there you go. All right. Policy change, excellent. Let's see what comes up. Educate. That's a great one. Step out of my silo. Address ACEs. I almost feel like we should have music on in the background. Others? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, great. Here we go. Education, community involvement, make connections, focus on schools, support my local crisis line, partnership with the faith community, um, include local, state, and federal partners, include suicide prevention and social determinants of health learning group conversations, continue the difficult conversations to reduce stigma, storytelling, engage in partner, storytelling. Great. Implement caring contacts. Fantastic. Great. Well, thank you all for participating today, for being engaged, for caring about this um, critical topic. Um, so before I ask Dr. Mordecai to come up and say a last few words, I want to thank all of our speakers and moderators for today. You've done an amazing job and really created a, a space where we could have an important conversation. So thank you. I'd like to thank our vendors, um, Ridgewell's Catering, Spark Street Digital, um, Maryland, um, Aaron Mead, who's not, um, who's not a vendor, but we still get the pleasure of working with her at these events. So really appreciate all your help in making this wonderful. Um, I'd like to thank, we have a work group and a steering committee within Kaiser Permanente that helps advise the topics of work um, that we choose to do the forums on. And I wanna thank everyone that's participated in those. Um, for their guidance and thoughts, etc. I'd like to thank our counselor, um, Gazala, um, for her time and energy and being here today. Um, so I appreciate your willingness to spend the day with us and, and be available. I want to thank all of the IHP staff and all of the Kaiser Permanente staff that have been helpful in pulling this together. We have um, gracious hosts in the Center for Total Health um, staff, so want to thank them for all of their support as well. And most of all, we really want to thank all of you for making the time to be here with us today. Um, please, if you haven't already done it, please fill out your survey, pass it to someone at the back, or leave it on your on your table. Again, we take a look at those, we listen to the feedback, and we try and make changes as we can. Um, so um, I, what I'll say is that in um, shortly we'll have materials available, including the slide deck, which will go out via email. Um, we produce a highlight reel as well as release the full um, length videos of each of the sessions. So those should be available within the next week or so. So now let me ask Don to come back up. Thank you. Surely that should have been the closing. <laughs> um, so Ceci thanked everybody that I wanted to thank, but nobody thanked Ceci. Um, so Ceci leads the IHP group um, that put this together, um, and it's an extraordinary group that worked really tirelessly on this. Um, and, uh, you know, took feedback, wanted to make it better uh, throughout. Um, so. I'm struck, and I wonder if people would be willing to show hands or make a, a noise of assent or, or dissent. Maybe it's like the English Parliament, right? Um, I, I leave feeling like 
we kind of did what we hoped to do, which is talk about a really serious topic and yet leave with some sense of hope and inspiration. Is, is that fair to people? Okay, I see, I see a lot of hands, which is, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I was struck at one point, because I, I, I tend, if I get the closing honors, I have to, I sit there and I scribble and I like, you know, like, here's, here's my closing notes page, which is useless to me now. Here's two other pages of notes that people from IHP gave me that it, in case I wanted to highlight a few things. Um, here's the words we used in the beginning, and I'll just read out a few that, that people wanted to hear about. So hope, social determinants of health, inspiration, solutions for school-aged children, faith community partnerships, evidence-based assessment, youth collaboration, public policy solutions, schools. I mean, we touched on all of those things, and that's, I don't know, probably half of the words that, that you put up there. So I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Um, something that struck me, and I think that's part of, part of the hope here, although part of the challenge too, is um, you know, if you said, oh, well, uh, I'm going to give you a magic wand. What do you need? It, it wasn't solutions af after all, right? There are a lot of solutions, a lot of evidence-based programs that can be put into place and are being put into place in a lot of places, and yet not everywhere, right? And so it strikes me that what the magic wand needs to do is around implementation, right? And sustainability um, of these amazing programs. Uh, and yet, it, we, we heard about care delivery solutions, right? So doing the evidence-based thing consistently. That it's not just what, about what we can do in specialty care. Um, that it has to be across the healthcare organization. And that it's not yet, but that there are ways to do it. Um, and there are organizations that want to do it, and, and we are certainly one of them. Um, we heard about toolkits that you can all go and borrow right now that are free, right? So there's, there's VA toolkits, and there's the Suicide Prevention Resource Center toolkits, and there's Now Matters Now toolkits, and there's the Suicide Prevention Lifeline. And you should not leave thinking, oh, that was great, but I don't know what to do. Um, hopefully you're leaving thinking, I'm going to go look at some of those and figure out which one maybe fits my context best. And you have the names of all these people who are leading these organizations to say, I had a question about what the Suicide Prevention Resource Center says about this, or um, you know, can I borrow Now Matters Now video for this purpose or that purpose? So, so use those emails and, and connect with each other. Um, in the community, we heard about the faith communities, and for me, the most powerful idea was that we can all be part of the solution. And we heard that over and over again, and I think that's part of it, is you know, not just engaging people who have, who have suffered from this, not just engaging people who are struggling with it and we want to get into the healthcare system, but you know, we can all be part of this, we can all lead from where we are, and I hope you're leaving with that message as well. Um, normalize the conversation, normalize help seeking, um, I love the stuff we heard about schools, you know, the good behavior game. I'd never heard of it, you know, but with high fidelity use of that, you saw pretty striking results. And the good behavior game is not talking about suicide with first graders, right? There's some magical thing <laughs> that we can do early on in people's lives that can make a real difference. Um, you got to hear the Secretary of Health from a large state in the United States who is implementing a whole program around this. So this work is being done and what we need to do is, is knit it together, um, like I said, around implementation and sustainability. Um, and I guess finally I was struck by how many things there are that can be done that, again, are not directly about suicide but are about um, Reknitting our societies back together, right? Reconnecting people to each other, um, addressing adverse childhood experiences, addressing housing, addressing basic income, um, you know, th things that make people's lives easier to live um, are, are really crucial here and can have a profound impact on this issue that we all came together to talk about and, and care about together. So with that, thank you for being here with us today and joining us, um, sharing your insights. Uh, it, it, it gives us great pleasure to be able to, to be a gathering point uh, to, to have people come together and, and talk about these things. So thank you. Mm -hmm.